Hi there. Um, it's Diane again, and this is my buddy Easton, and this is Travis. He's helping us out today. He's got all the proper equipment with gloves and protective eyewear. Easton and I have our glasses on, and I have my gloves, and Easton's going to put on his. Today we are going to make elephant toothpaste. We have our containers to collect the elephant toothpaste. With elephant toothpaste, you do need yeast, a tablespoon to measure, a half cup measuring cup, and you will need um, hydrogen peroxide. So with knowing that we need hydrogen peroxide, you will need an adult partner for this. So um, again, I say that you will need an adult partner for this, and with all the chemical stuff, um, your adult partner will have to do this part. So, um, Easton and Travis, can you pick a bottle from our stash over here and decide which one we're going to use? This one. You can pick two. So, one of each of you pick one. And we also need dish soap. Ours is blue, but we also have food coloring to add some other colors to it. I can go okay? grab the food coloring for you, Mama. It's, we got it right here. Okay. So, we've got the half cup of hydrogen peroxide that we're going to go ahead and add. Remember, be careful. And don't worry, Travis, I am being very careful. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. And then I'm going to get a little bit for the other one. And it has a smaller opening, so I'm just going to go a little bit slower. You can always use a funnel to do this. Add a little more to here. All right. Now, with the yeast, you add a tablespoon of hot water to a tablespoon of, tablespoon of yeast. All right, Travis, for your bottle, what color would you like to use? Red. All right. So, you can do a few drops of food coloring in here. It's okay if you get it on the outside of the bottle like I did. You can kind of gently swirl that one around. And then, Easton, what would you like? Green. All right. So I'm going to do a, whoop, that is blue. The one with the green top is green. Oh, thank you, Travis, for your help. <laughs> so here's the green. Easton, please don't touch as the adult partner should be the one touching the chemicals. That is a great example of reminding the scout that it should be the adult partner touching the chemicals. We How do you do it? We are going to add. I just stunk up the whole entire thing. We are going to do a little bit of the dish soap. You don't need too much of that. And since I have already mixed up the yeast, you can see it right here. All right, we're going to set this right off here. I'm actually going to use it in a different cup here. Just uh, I can grab that for you. Mom. I've got it, Travis. Thank okay. you. Make it a little easier to pour. And easier to pour. Mom is mine is always starting. Woo! Yeah. Mine is. And I will turn them so you can see what is happening here. Mom, I can see a little red coming out. Yeah, you can see the different colors. Another way to do food coloring, other than just doing drops and mixing it with the hydrogen peroxide, is you can do two different colors on each side and let it run down the side of the inside of the bottles. And you can make stripes with the food coloring. Mom, um, and you can you can go ahead and make it for each different cup. You can use a two liter bottle. You just need a little more hydrogen peroxide and yeast. And that right there is a little show of 
Elephant Toothpaste. Have a good day.